Hey, what's up guys? So I've bought this electric shaver by Kemi. I've got the link in the description below. It's a pretty cheap shaver from Amazon. It's got really good reviews, so I'm going to be testing this out. It's got a hair clipper at the back that I can use to trim the hair. And I'm going to be using the front to actually shave the bottom part of my beard here. I'm going to do a test and show you guys the difference and then give you a review on how this operates. One thing I really like about it is the ability to see the actual battery percentage of how much is left in the shaver as well as that it's waterproof so I can use this in a shower I wouldn't put shaving cream on and then use that against that I would just use it if I'm in the shower and it gets wet I know that there's no issues so that's a really good point the clipper at the back is slightly small than the, the previous electric shavers that I've had but let me go ahead and see the difference on uh, using this one compared to my previous one from Braun now I'm going to be shaving this bottom part underneath the chin uh, above the Adam's apple completely clean using this electric shaver the top part I'm just going to be trimming using the trimmer at the back and hopefully I can give you a review and how it looks uh, after I finish alright guys I'm back so I've trimmed the top parts and I've shaven the bottom parts. Now I have to say, using the trimmer at the back of the shaver, uh, on this bit here, it hasn't actually done a great job. So it was very soft. It didn't really take away a lot of the hair. I generally have quite a thick beard, so I would have expected it to take as much of it off as possible. It didn't do a job. So what I had to do is I switched to my Remington trimmer and I had to use that one to trim the top of my beard here. Now at the bottom bit, I use the top of the shaver using the coils and actually that's done a really good job. I would have to give that about an 8 out of 10. The reason is because this is very soft, you don't really feel it, it doesn't pull any hairs and it's done a very good job, although it's not the strongest electric shaver I've had. I think when I'm uh, feeling it at the bottom there, I can still feel a little bit of the stubble. Now if you have a look closely, it's left a bit of a red line, some red marks there. That just could be due to my sensitive skin. However, I can see that most of it is pretty much gone. From the top part, trimming wise, I had to revert to another trimmer, so I would give the back trimmer maybe a four out of 10. It's very good if you just wanted to trim maybe pieces of your eyebrows or hairs off of your ears, maybe hairs that stick out from your nose, that kind of stuff. It's not really used for a full trim on, on a very thick beard. Now, if you just wanted to have a listen to how the sound is on the trimmer. I'm just going to play that back for you. They say it's quite silent, but I think it's pretty loud in its own way. Now let's go ahead and look. I think it's silent, more silent than some of the other ones I've had, but because of the speed of the rotation of the motors inside, it just makes it a little bit louder um, when it's trying to make it softer, but uh, overall, the sound doesn't matter when I'm in the bathroom, I'm shaving, people know what I'm doing. But one thing I really like about it is the lock mechanism here, just under the power button. So if you just switch this upwards, it locks it in place and you wouldn't be able to turn it on. You can press it, it doesn't do it. That's really good and useful for traveling. Sometimes when I've traveled in the past, I've put my shaver in my suitcase. By the time I've gotten to the destination, the battery has been drained because it's somehow hit some of the other items in my suitcase and it's turned on and it's wasted all of the battery so that keeps it in, in place there. In terms of the battery percentage itself, it appears just underneath there. So if I go ahead and turn it on, hopefully you can see that. It's about 92% there. Now, if you have this on for about 10 minutes, constantly using it, I had it charged fully at 100%. After 10 minutes of use, I turned it off and I can see it went down to 16. I waited about 30 seconds, I turned it back on again, it shot back up to 85, and it's a little bit inconsistent, so I wouldn't say the battery percentage is always accurate. If you just leave it, and then you turn it on after an hour or a day or whatever, it may tell you the exact battery percentage. In use, whilst it's using a lot of power, it will just be up and down with the percentages, so I wouldn't really rely on that to give you the actual numbers that you're looking for I will just leave it afterwards and come back later and just see by pressing it once what the actual percentage is 
Overall, I think this is pretty good value for money for the price you get it on Amazon. I've got the link for it in the description below. If you have any questions on this or any other electric shavers that you want me to help you answer, then uh, please do leave a comment. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.